One of my coworkers at my job recently got tested positive for COVID-19, so we all as a staff have to come and get tested before we're allowed to come back to work. Cameron Woody came to this pop-up testing tent Tuesday looking for answers. She works at the temporarily closed Revolution Rotisserie and Over the Rhine. They notified us, they told all of us, and then they also posted on their Facebook page that we had to be closed down again due to the case that came in. Nearby, Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley and Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman also got tested, leading by example. The coronavirus has not disappeared from our lives. The owner of Queen City Hospitality Group closed all its OTR locations Tuesday to test all staff after a Pontiac back of house employee said Monday he likely tested positive. The asymptomatic employee was tested, the owner says, because of potential exposure. The closed locations include Pontiac, Senate OTR, Holiday Spirit, Abigail Street and 40 Thieves. Health Commissioner Melba Moore praised action to help contact tracing and to alert people to self-monitor. The chef who's making those changes and being proactive, that's how it works. The Thunderdome Restaurant Group also says an employee at the Eagle and an employee at Bakersfield tested positive in the past few days. However, it says they never worked a shift while showing symptoms. Those locations are open. Both groups emphasize safety protocols are in place. That there are tens of thousands of people whose jobs depend on these restaurants. I've been out to many of them uh, and I've had a great experience. All right, so the owner of Pontiac and these other locations emphasizes that they're doing temperature scans, they're wearing masks, and also they have hand sanitizers, among other precautions there. One of the suggestions that he made in his post today was that perhaps restaurants moving forward should test their employees on a monthly or bi-monthly basis. We're live in Over the Rhine. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.